Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young at drscottyoung.com, and today we're going to talk about Nasara and the millennial reign of Christ. Coming right up. Now, when we ask this question, I hear this, I'm, I'm listening to patriots talk left and right. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting arguments from people, and that's why I'm trying to address this point. Listen, guys. If you think we're about ready to see a thousand-year millennial reign, you haven't followed what the Bible says. Just because we're going to go through a time of peace in Nasara, it doesn't mean that the Nasara peace has to be a thousand-year reign. Now, I know there are patriots who are saying to you right now, the trip, we're in the middle of the tribulation. <clears throat> we're in the sixth trumpet or in the fifth trumpet. or I mean, picking, picking their little thing. And I'm going, here's the point. Here's the really easy answer. If you think we're at the sixth trumpet, which is actually something that David Koresh said with the Branch Davidians in 1992. We were in the sixth trumpet. And do you know that no one was able to answer his questions? It, that's, what, that's what some of the Branch Davidians actually said about him. <laughs> Going, dude, I could fix that in five seconds. Sounds like I'm on a game show there. My point is, is that if you think we're in the sixth trumpet, that means that we have trumpet one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And so and I would say to you, Answer me when the first, first trumpet hit, then, then the second, then the third, then the fourth, and then the fifth to get you to the sixth trumpet. And when David Koresh at the time, if he, when he was alive, if he could answer that and answer it perfectly or related to the word, and not just answer that, he'd have to answer the seven seals that have occurred that occurred before that. And I'd say, well, unless you can do that, I don't get to listen to you in that point, okay? Because if we're going to follow the Bible, let's follow the Bible, okay? If you don't want to follow the Bible, that's your choice. You have every right to do whatever you feel like on that. But I'm not going to mix in Hinduism and New Age movement to all the things into the Bible. I'm going to follow the Bible because I can prove it over and over again that it is true it has medical information inside there. It is completely accurate. And there are not other books in the Bible, so don't get off into that silliness. I don't want to go there. And so the answer is, are we going to go into the millennial reign? Well, the millennial reign is a thousand years of peace. But it's a thousand years of peace in a different way. It only has to can happen when you go through a seven-year tribulation. And if you believe that we're in the millennial reign of Christ, or we're going to be in just a little bit, I'd say, explain to me a couple things. When did the sixth trumpet happen? Sixth trumpet is a third of the planet dies from a war. Well, was that World War II? That's not a third of the planet that died in World War II. There's about 70 million people that died. And at the time frame, we had three or four billion people on the planet. Well, that's not the same number. Okay. So I'd say to you, when did the fifth trumpet occur? The fifth trumpet would, would be the, what I call a murder trumpet, where people try to kill themselves, but they can't do it, and they live for five months. When did that happen? When did the first seal occur? Do you see where I'm going here, guys? You have to follow those biblical points, because if you just want to pitch out the ones that you don't like, you're going to struggle to answer the rest of the Bible. God said you don't get to pitch those things out. Go read Revelation 22. Revelation 22 says that if you pitch out things out of the word, I'm going to pitch you out of the book of life. If you add to it, I'm going to add to you the plagues that are written within it. So you don't get to do it that way, guys. If you want to be believers in Christ and trust in what he said is the word, you don't get to go that direction. The reality is the millennial reign of Christ is for Jesus to come back to the planet and show the people who are living at that time frame. We're ruling and reigning with Christ. 
the people that are living in that time frame to realize that Satan is gone. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of parallels here. Parallels here. But Satan would be gone. He'd be in the, the abyss waiting for that last moment in Revelation 20 where, where we have, he comes out of there, leads the, another rebellion, and then goes to the lake of fire. But if we're going to be in the millennial reign of Christ, you have to answer a lot of these other biblical questions, which means you're pitching out about, about 600 verses from the New Testament and Old Testament. And if you can't do that, if you want to do that, that's your choice. But I am not going to pitch those things out. Therefore, Nasara and the millennial reign, they're completely different conversations. Now, in the Word, it actually says in Matthew 24 that, that the, the gospel is preached throughout the world, and then the end comes. How do you preach the gospel throughout the world without having the cash and resources to do that? You have to have resources. And guess what's going to come? As If you've watched any of my videos, you can watch a lot of the Nasara videos, and it explains how the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. That cannot happen in the tribulation. And it doesn't happen in the millennial reign of Christ because the wealth of the wicked is completely destroyed. Therefore, the only thing that happens, this, these are pre-tribulation responses. The Nasara is something outside of that point. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about that, it's I have Nasara and the Mark of the Beast. You can go on to drscottyoung.com and gives you a direct ability to go buy it either as an ebook or you can buy it as a physical book like this. It's not that hard to read, but it helps you understand some of the basis of that. So I hope that helps you out and gives you a, a deeper detail inside of what's happening. So thanks so much.